This is Caleb. Uh, I'm doing another unboxing today. Today we have Bravely Default Flying Fairy Limited Edition for the 3DS. Now, I'm kind of nervous about this because I've read a lot of... Oh, I see what people are talking about. Yeah, there have been a lot of negative reviews on Amazon's website um, because people who've ordered this um, have received just damaged boxes because Amazon's been using this, like without a fragile sticker or anything. So I see my package took some damage too right here on the side. Uh, but this is what it looks like. It's actually fairly large. You can probably tell because of my hands looking so small. But yeah, this is it. I wasn't expecting tape, so... um I didn't really get a knife or anything like that. Let me see if I can peel it off. So far so good. I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay. Let's open this slip. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so this would be... Oh, wow, it did take some damage. This really sucks. Amazon did a horrible job packaging this. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. First thing we have here on the left-hand side like these cards. Let's just take a quick peek at these. So yeah, I'll open it up. Let's see what we got. So character cards, I guess. Or maybe AR cards? I don't know. I've never actually used the AR feature on the 3DS, so I actually wouldn't know. It looks to me like they're just like art. Like just like artwork. That's probably what they are. Just like the art. In replace of like an art book. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Some cool pictures. Okay. Look at that over here for the side. Here we have the soundtrack. For those of you that want to see what the inside looks like, let me just open this wrap up. This is what the back of the case looks like. Cool. I think this is just a single, yeah, this is just a single card. Here's the disc. Back. So that's cool. Let's see if there's anything else in here. There is. So yeah, this is the art book actually. Let's see if there's anything else. Nothing else back here. Cool. So this is the actual art book. The one I was looking for. Wow, I love the art so much. Wow. Just a general idea of what the art looks like. Another Japanese role-playing game that we're so lucky to have. When it was announced in Japan, I believe last year, 2003, um, 2003, listen to me, 2013. I remember how excited I was because they were like, "Oh, it's a spiritual successor to Four Heroes of Light." And I was like, "Oh, really? It looks like it'll be even better than Four Heroes of Light." That was a great game, by the way. For those of you that never got to play it.
inside. Here's the game cart. And the little manual, which doesn't really say much, but... Yeah. So there you have it. Limited edition version. Game. The cool little cards that come with it. The art book. And of course, the official soundtrack. Or at least a sample of the soundtrack. So yeah. There it is. Thank you guys so much for watching.